Yo, yo, what's good? Mookie Harkins, World for Sports 1080. What on? Hey, man, um, you know, let's just get right into it, man. How excited are you to get it in in the Bills uniform with your teammates on Sunday? Man, words can't explain the way I feel right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy, we, you know, we were able to play football, you know what I'm saying, consider everything that was going on in the world. And, mm -hmm. um, me and all my teammates, man, we were very eager, man, to go out there and showcase, you know, all the things that we, we, we came together and did throughout camp. So, hey, we ready to ball. Now, we know y'all going to be pinning your ears back and going nuts out there on third down, but I think due to COVID that, you know, they're going to rely a lot on the run. So how do you, um, you know, what are some of the challenges you face going against gangster Frank Gore and um, Le'Veon Bell there? You know, um... It always start, you know, for the pass rush, we got to stop the run first. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we know tackling isn't going to be big, you know, throughout the game. So what we got to do is allow our, our fundamentals to take place and do what we do best and go out there and play football. And, you know, bats like that, man, two different bats. One bat is very patient and he'll test every gap. <clears throat> and we got to be ready for that guy. And the next bat is, like you said, against the runner, you know what I'm saying? He's, you like to run it downhill, you know what I'm saying, smash my football, I'm going to be ready for him too. So we just got to play outside of the ball. All right. I keep my eye out for you on the trenches, man. Good luck. Appreciate you, man. And hey Mario, John Scott from Spectrum News. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, I wanted to know, obviously, you, you made the choice to come and join this team, and I know you've said in the past it's because you believe they, they can win a championship. So – your first year here, what are the expectations for this Buffalo Bills team? Um, first, man, is, you know, um, play playoff caliber football. Meaning, um, first, you know what I'm saying, we got to approach every game, you know, as if it's our last game. So we got a group of guys here that, that's, that's, bought in, that's bought into the scheme. And um, they're ready, man. And um, I was looking at this team, you know, when I played against, you know, the Bills when I was with Carolina. And the character of these guys is a team that I really want to be a part of. And now since I'm here and I'm feeling everything that McDermott has, you know what I'm saying, that told us, you know what I'm saying, like I said, every guy is bought in, you know what I'm saying, into this game. And I'm just excited. You be able to, you know, the players bill. Uh, I'm curious – we hear so much one game at a time and a lot of guys don't want to openly say what the, you know, the true goal is and, and whatnot. What is the line between vocalizing what, what your true goals are and, and while not trying to get too ahead of yourself? <clears throat> Only reason we play football is to win. Just as simple as that. We play to win. Appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Mario, you can hear me? Yeah, I can. All right. Uh, going back to a little bit, kind of what Mookie was talking about, with no new tape uh, on the Jets and a lot of unknowns, like how, ha how different has this preparation been going into this very first game after all of this COVID-19, you know, stuff that's been going on? Um, it's very different for us as a um, as a D line because normally um, when we play a team, you know, guys have been you know the whole offensive line have played with each other, but in this case, it's very different. You know, I think it's just one guy that's been there the whole time, and the other four guys is new. So that being said, you know, we just gotta allow. I mean, rely on our our fundamentals. You know, read our keys and all the things that it takes, you know, to um, be successful. And, you know, obviously they want to protect the quarterback. So we got to come out and play our style, our style of football and pin our ears back and go get him. Dion said earlier that uh, he was ready to hit somebody with no worries. Now you can hit someone else in another uniform. Do you kind of feel that same exact way where you don't have to worry about hurting your teammates, but now you can really take that out on somebody else? Yes, I'm, I'm very ready. You know, um, we can't finish. You know, when we pass rushing at, uh, at practice because we got to pull off on the quarterback or do a flyby. But now we can actually finish on the quarterback, and it's, it's going to feel good. Thanks, Mario. You're welcome. 
Hi, Mario. Jay Skirsky with the Buffalo News. Thank, uh, thanks for your time this afternoon. Uh, did you have a chance to see the beginning of the game last night with Houston and Kansas City? And if so, what did you think of the moment, uh, you know, where both teams kind of came together there in a, in a moment of unity before the game? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Um, but I heard, I heard about it. And um, I think it's a great thing. You know, it's bigger than football sometimes. You know, I'm glad those two teams, you know, agreed upon before the game happened, you know, to show them that, you know, we all in this together. Yeah. And, and I know that, you know, it's been discussed amongst the team about potential uh, of a demonstration or, or some sort of a sign for Sunday. And I know you maybe haven't decided exactly what that will look like, but uh, whenever you do come to that determination, what message do you hope comes across on Sunday, whatever it is that you and your teammates decide? Um, like you said, if we, when we do something, when we do it, it's going to be together as a team. And we just want everybody to be, the message we try and get out, we want every, every person to be treated equal, no matter what color your skin is. And if we can get that message through to everybody, you know, the world will be a better place. Thanks, Mario. I appreciate your time. No problem. Hi, Mario. Matt Fairburn from The Athletic here. Thanks for taking a little bit of time this afternoon. Now that you've had a few weeks with, you know, your teammates, a, about a month of camp here, what, what have you learned about Trent Murphy and A.J. Epinesa? I start with Trent. Trent is a guy, man, he's very relentless. He's going he's gonna to find a way to get to the quarterback. And I love to play on the side of a guy like that. A.J. is a young guy that's, that's – that's, he's eager to play, man. Like, he bought into the scheme. He want to be successful. He's learning. He's trying to learn every time he get a chance. He always picking my ears, and that's why I love. I love, man. I love a guy that's, you know what I'm saying, trying to find any, any way in or up to, you know, to develop into this pattern that he want to be. And he got the frame, man. You've seen his frame. Like, this guy's a, a nice size defense end. And I'm excited to see what he do for his game. What's the dynamic like in that, that defensive line room, knowing how much you guys are, are going to be rotating and kind of feeding off one another? What's the, the dynamic as you're all kind of competing for snaps but, but feeding off each other? Um, the en energy level in the room is, is so high. Because, like you said, we got guys that's going to rotate in and do exactly the same role that the new ones are, are doing. So – for me, basically, I don't, I don't consider myself a number one end, number two end, just a defense end. And um, we just, man, we just gonna, gonna kill it out there, man. I'm just gonna say that. All us, man, all us pass rushers, we all know what it takes to get to the quarterback. We all know how to set the edge, and it's just, it's just gonna be a, a, a battle out there, no matter yeah. who's in the game. Thanks, Mario. All right, Mario, that's all we got. Thanks, everyone.